I just woke up, tried to be focused on the game and what I could do to help the team. Yes, go there, then we'll come here. Rachel George, the Orlando Sentinel. Casey, had you seen indications throughout the season or kind of known you had this in you and it was just a chance of opportunity? Or uh, I guess well, not where did this come from, but this is, you know, obviously a career high for you. Yeah, well, I feel like um, I just kept working at it um, in practice and doing individual instruction with the coaches. And Coach D kept, t kept telling me that the state the course and my turn would come. And I guess tonight was a good time for me to come. Hey, Carline, Florida Times Union. Casey, is uh, where does this moment rank for you in your basketball life, uh, and how how can you build on this uh, going into Sunday? Oh, it's very high. Um, I just want to stay positive on it and um, build on it so I can help the team do whatever they can do to win, whatever that is, either on defensive end, offensive end, rebounding, getting steals, mm -hmm. whatever. Question for Irving. You had a, an alley-oop to Casey late in the game, I think, right? Did you throw that to him, or were you throwing that to Beal? I was throwing that to Casey. I thought they both was going to jump, but luckily Brad didn't. Well, no, I didn't have family, but um, I had the guys, so that's basically like my family. And the celebration was awesome with them. And I guess the first family phone call I was going to make was to my mom, I guess. <laughs> Irving, can you talk about how easy you guys were able to get into the lane, penetrate, and, and finish plays today, <coughs> particularly against the defense that ranks second nationally in points allowed? Yeah, I think uh, the guards today did a good job of waiting on the screens and the big men set really good screens. And also, I think just the press overall t made them kind of tired and their hedges were, you know, kind of weakened throughout the course of the game. Uh, I really didn't even notice it until we got in the locker room and coach said we were one for 15. But, I mean, we know we're going to have shoot nights where the ball just doesn't go in. We, but we were focused on defense because we know that could keep us in the games when shots aren't falling. Yeah, Casey, can you talk about how you talked about staying the course, but how difficult that was for you and not getting much playing time during the season? Um, well, it was kind of difficult because, of course, I had high expectations, but um, Coach D and um, not a supporting cast kept me um, kind of straightforward. Casey, some of the guys in the locker room said keeping your confidence up might have been something that was difficult throughout the season. How accurate is that? Um, it's kind of accurate, but I feel like um, as the time goes on, I've been getting my confidence back.